Okay, so welcome back, guys. I thought it'd be a good. Um, I got, thought this would be a, a good video to put together because it's three different trades. So it's um, B A C D I A and B Y N D. Um, and again, I just what I want really want to demonstrate in this video is um, how quick it is to locate stocks. You know, because I have a watch list, I'll show you the watch list. How easy it is to click on each one very, very quickly, literally by the, you know, it, it's so instant. You can see the setup, you don't like it, you move on to the next one, and so on and so on. The stocks that I'm looking at, I'm looking at the same ones pretty much all the time now. So I'm looking for the setup, I click on it, see the setup, boom, I take the trade. So that's the reason I've got these three trades here. So $140, $36, and $396. Um, the $36 one, it was basically starting to go against me so you know sometimes you got to take these tiny tiny profits instead of going into the red okay so um, all in all so five hundred and seventy two dollars three different trades and again it's a it's a demonstration because I didn't complete any pre-market analysis on these stocks because I've been watching them now for quite a few months and um, I'm used to them I know how they move I know what the spread is like so it's really just a case of going in, I mean it's basically just as the same as doing the, the FTSE 100 or the Dow Jones or the DAX, you know you know what the spread is, um, you're familiar with how the instrument moves and I'm still trading futures, I still am the futures guy so I still trade futures but I'm also mixing up a few stocks in there as well. Um, so this is, a, this is a good demonstration of the flexibility that you can um, implement you know, after you have been in the market for, you know, a certain amount of time. And it is important to keep things fresh. As long as you are still making money, as long as you are still being consistent, you, you need to mix it up just a little bit. Because you have to be you have to continue to be engaged. Okay, so you'll see these three trades, guys. It's the usual setup. You know my setup by now. Um, and that's what I'm looking for. You know, I keep telling you, do not place a trade unless the setup is right. Okay, now it's never going to be exactly perfect, but it has to be right. Okay, so little clip of some of my students. So students are doing very well. You know, as I've said before, it takes time to um, to become consistent. It doesn't take days or weeks. It takes months. Okay, when you come into the market, you need to realize that, understand that, and um, and that's that's a goal that you must aim for is to just you know not expect to have any overnight success because that's never going to happen okay there's no overnight success in this business it just doesn't happen so i hope you guys enjoyed this week's video something a little bit different again and um, a couple of nice a couple of nice trades decent profit 572 dollars so pretty decent for one open um, and as usual guys Make sure you smash that like button. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And if you contact me, you can contact me at my Instagram. That is sambora.00. Follow me on Instagram. You can see what I get up to on a daily basis. So I hope you like this week's video. So this is a very quick snapshot of some of my students. So this is the this is the family. This is the Sambora family. So some nice greens today on the open. Some nice greens. Well done, guys. Okay, so first of these trades, BAC. So I've looked on the left-hand side, as I've said before with this broker, my new broker, Colmex Pro. You can identify setups very, very quickly. See that, BAC, Bank of America. Beautiful setup, perfect setup. Gone in with 1,500 lots on a short position and quite comfortable now to hold this for the time being. Um, you'll see, guys, time and time again, you see the same setups. There's a reason for this. I keep saying it. I only make these trades when the setup is correct. Okay, now this one here is reversing. So if this is multiple trades, I end up closing this one. Um, that's a pretty decent pullback. So pretty decent pullback. But I take that because I started to find a major support level. So that's the first trade. Pretty quick, in and out, boom. Second one, DIA. Okay, so same again, exact same setup as the previous um, as the previous stock. And I went in with 260 lots this time. Okay, this is a this is a high cap stock, $351.33. 
holding it again so you'll see a common denominator here with my setups and it's the same thing over and over and over again okay this is why I'm so consistent because I don't take these trades until the setup is correct it's as simple as that okay my approach to the market is very much simplified I really do not make it complicated I try and keep it as basic as possible I don't use any indicators I'm not trading the news I'm simply trading my patterns support and resistance price action rejections to the support level rejections to the resistance level minor rejections major rejections these are all key elements and it takes time okay this is not something that you can learn in a couple of days or a couple of weeks this takes months to learn I've been trading for well over two and a half years now okay every single day when I say every single day I mean five days a week Monday to Friday okay so it takes time to pick this up you get to have kind of six cent for want of a better word but the key element to this I mean there's a lot of key elements but it's the setup the setup is the first stage for me okay and it is all about stages it's a big jigsaw with different elements different parts and it all comes together okay so you will see continuously that I take these trades execute these positions on the same type of setups now there's a lot more to it as I've said you know I've outlined a couple of different elements but within that it's easy enough to to say it's support and resistance etc etc but to be able to identify that in real time in real time is a skill and it takes time okay so I can tell you exactly what it is but it takes time to put these elements into practice and that's what it is it's practice so you can you can know everything but that doesn't mean that you're going to nail it straight away it, it takes practice okay so i actually closed that trade i didn't it hit a major support level didn't like it so it took a small very small um very small profit back in again this time bynd 600 lots on a long position exact same setup as the previous two trades the only thing is this was a sell-off the other two were massive rallies went in and again it's the same thing again it's the same setup you know I'm just using two patterns I'm using the same setups time and time and time and time again and with the experience that I have trading these two patterns and all the elements that are associated with those patterns you know I don't even think about it anymore I don't it, it, it it's a process that I've that I've been through so many times that I'm just very reactive now and it takes time to get there but you can get there it just takes a long time you've got to be extremely patient you have to be extremely ambitious and resilient and you have to have an extremely strong mindset okay and if you don't at the moment it doesn't mean that you can't in the future okay so i'm actually putting in i'm i'm, I'm kind of experimenting with, with my new broker a little bit i've put in a, a hard stop loss there sorry not a hard not a hard stop loss it's a a brokerage stop loss which is something that I never used to really do but I'm just kind of protecting profits here and um, as well as still familiarizing myself with this broker but what I've done there is and this is something that I never used to do and um, too often I've actually locked in profits there so I'm guaranteed to make $144 on this trade now $144 in one trade doesn't seem like a lot but if I'm doing this multiple times on various opens it all adds up okay it all adds up and I've always said you know my kind of typical days is a thousand pounds you know I don't make 10 grand a day you know I simply don't you know I've always said that my kind of average and, and target although I, I hate targets as such but my kind of average is around about a thousand pounds a day and that's trading um, the European Open US Open US close okay so I'm happy with the with the capital that I have you know I'm, I'm comfortable with the capital that I have I don't like trading with huge amounts of capital because as soon as you open your position you could be three or four hundred pounds or three or four hundred dollars down straight away and that's very psychological that it just doesn't suit me 
I am quite conservative. I've said it many, many times in the past. I'm a conservative individual, you know, in my trading, in my lifestyle, I am very conservative. So just gonna change that again now. So modifying this, and you can modify your stop loss pretty quick. So I'm locking in $330, that's what I'm locking in. But you know what, $300, almost $400, that's what I look for in a trade, $300, sorry, $400, 300 pounds. So let's just take that, $396.